Today we're testing out another viral makeup hack. We'll have to see if this makeup hack, which uses a little bit more concealer than I'm used to, will work on mature skin. We're gonna get into seeing whether or not we can enhance what we have. Let's do this video right now. Hello friends, as you see, I do have my makeup pretty much complete. But what I don't have is this specific highlighting trick that I wanna show you that's supposed to bring a ton of light to kind of the center of your face and kind of help do some definition without contour. It's kind of exciting, so we're gonna get into that in just a second. I do wanna tell you that I can show you my shirt and all of my jewelry. The shirt, I will put a video of me standing right here so that you can see me trying it on. This is a very loose shirt, it's linen, so it does need either steamed or ironed, but I love the lace detail in this. It goes clear through the yoke of the blouse, and it's just very airy and very loose. It has a bell sleeve on it with button down V-neck, and I just think it is so pretty. And then I will zoom you in and you can get a peek at my earrings today, which I absolutely love. These are a gold earring that has just a few little tassels on the bottom, just a filigree earring, so pretty. I also have two different necklaces on today. I don't think these came in a set. They might've came separate, but one is a paper clip right here. And then the other one in the top is just a serpentine that I got. And also I have a fun new bracelet, which I have just been loving wearing it's a cuff bracelet in gold and so i'll be able to show all of those to you oh i also got a fun new ring which is an adjustable ring and i'm always on the hunt for pinky rings and my pinky is an odd size so this is a fun little opal with a um, just a little cubic zirconium in there and it's rose gold so i thought that was all kinds of fun and all of those including the makeup that i wear will be listed and linked below in the description box and speaking of the description box right over here you're going to see a number that will come up each time that i show you a product or switch products that number will co coincide with what i am doing on camera. So if I'm using the um, concealer trick or whatever, the concealer that I'm using right will come up right here in a number. You don't have to remember the number or the shade of the concealer. You just open up the description box and say it was number two. You remembered that it was number two. You go over to number two, number two, how many times can a person say number two? It is the concealer with the, the shade and the link will be there. So that's a very easy way for you to shop and I hope that you do enjoy it. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm trying so hard to get to 100,000. So my analytics tell me that about 40 to 60% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you would please just take a second and do that, it would help me out so much. And all of you that have been here forever, I love you to pieces. So let's get into this. We're going to see if it's going to be a mess or we're going to see if it's just going to be gorgeous on mature skin for all of us. Let's do this video right now. All right, all zoomed in. Let's start out with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. The reason that um, I chose this is because the gal did that was on there. It just seemed like it went across her face a little bit easier. So instead of doing both sides. I'm going to do one side. We're going to see how it looks, if it brings more light, if it brings more definition, if it's prettier or not. <laughs> so what she did was she actually started, I have got some random flyaway hairs going on here. She started out here at her temple and she just did a little line and then she went all the way under her eyes. And yes, I already do have concealer on. Actually, I already have all my makeup on but my concealer didn't quite do the trick today, so I was like, maybe this will help a little bit. And then she drew, she drew a line down her nose into the center of her, her upper lip, and then she went down, and excuse the shaking, we all know that Melissa does the shaking, and she went back into her, kind of to define that jawbone, and then she came out around the lip, and then she went down. That looks insane to me. It absolutely looks insane. But the whole purpose of this is to see how much light that we can bring to this area. Now I have a dampened beauty sponge and that's what I'm going to use. I'm gonna let this part right here by my eyes set up a little bit, but that's what we're going to use to blend. So we're just gonna blend everything. And I'm actually going to bring this blend down a little bit. It's gonna really, I can already tell you that it's really going to define that cheekbone. 
and I'm trying really hard just to stay in the places like I already have my lipstick done which was probably not the best thing so I'm gonna really blend this in because I'm putting another layer on top of what I already have now in my defense I did uh, only put one layer of my foundation on I didn't want it to get too out of control and now we're gonna go up and we're gonna bring that way up and I feel like when you do this you're gonna your blush is gonna kind of go away okay that was that was it that was easy peasy um so you can see right here that it's really defining the line of the cheek and then when we go up here it's kind of just defining all of this too now my nose is a little bit red from using some blush on it so i'm just going to pop a little bit of the concealer onto my nose so i'm going to just kind of let you guys see what happened it was a super easy trick it took like two minutes not even two minutes i talked too much so it took longer but you know it was just the basics of kind of highlighting instead of contouring i have contour on um, i'm not crazy about what kind of a line this is leaving right here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take another side of my makeup sponge and i'm just going to dot 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 try and get that down now one of the things that i love is i love to put my blush right up around here so i don't know if i'm 100 percent sold on that what do you guys think it's kind of it's pretty and you can tell that it gives a lot of light when i'm looking at it in the mirror it looks pretty darn good it gave a little bit more coverage right here underneath my eye brought a little bit of light i wonder if i used something even lighter okay so what i did was i grabbed the ColourPop pretty fresh so this is going to be a little bit different because you have the wand instead of that little sponge to kind of you know move things around so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to draw as ever so slightly as i can here I mean, the whole premise is that you use a bit of stuff, but I don't want to use too much. That got into my lipstick. Lovely. Go around the lip and under here and then right here. Draw a line up. Okay, so what is going to be different about this is it's going to be a little bit thicker, but it is a little bit lighter than what I was using. So maybe this might bring a little bit more light. Let's start down here to blend it. I don't know what the thinking is in making around your mouth so light. Maybe it just defines your lips a little bit more. I have been trying to do a lot of self tanning, so I'm not real sure I'm convinced that this is the best way to go and lightening even further when you're not you know when you're trying to get a little bit more of a sun glow look i feel like it might be a little bit more makeup so you might even want to skip your foundation i think that if i tried it again that's what i would do and then i would just spot conceal on places but i like the fact that it does give me a little bit more coverage back here where i have all my age spots and i like the fact that it's pulling everything up so that's kind of the premise to it is to give yourself kind of a fake lift i am going to go in with this dior no powder powder have you guys tried this oh my word this is so so good so i'm just going to pick up a little bit of it and i'm going to just set underneath my eyes since this is so expensive i don't use this to set my whole entire face normally i am going to today but normally i just set my under eyes i don't i don't even know how to explain it except for it really doesn't feel like powder it just feels super light and super pretty airy it just feels gorgeous here's this brush and i will link this brush for you it's an it brush for ulta i get asked about it every time it comes on air or comes into one of my videos so i'm going to load that sucker up and the reason is is because hardly any powder will get on there anyway but i'm going to dust this across everything that i've done and just kind of buff everything around but that big brush will really help buff in everything and kind of just give it all a really seamless look i am going to go in with my laura geller pink grapefruit baked blush this is what i just barely used and i do feel like my blush kind of went away so i am going to just put a little bit more blush on and i'm going to try and stay away from this part that they wanted to lift with although you know that's always where i put my blush but i'm going to just try and you know kind of stay away from there and then I will put it across my forehead to kind of warm that up a little bit more. I just put it on my chin. I'm so used to doing certain things, but I think you get the gist of this. Okay, so thoughts. This is my thoughts on it. 
I think if I was going to do this again, I would not start out with all of my makeup done. I would probably put some cream bronzer or cream contour on and I would buff that in. And then I would probably skip doing any sort of um, concealer under my eyes. But I'd go ahead and I'd use this as kind of a spot treatment so you might not even need any foundation whatsoever so i would probably put a line across my forehead down my nose and then do everything that it showed as far as where it goes in the placement and then i would buff that in and see if i needed any extra coverage and if you did then you could just kind of you know use it to do you know your spot coverage but yeah i think that this is really pretty i think that bringing the triangle of light right there is is perfect i think that lifting it with your concealer is great and also i think from bringing it to the corner of your mouth up here i think that that's a good idea idea too because you're lifting the corner of your mouth as well so i think it's really pretty but yeah i think that it's a neat technique especially if you're going somewhere maybe you're going to a candlelight dinner maybe you're going somewhere you know that it is a little bit darker or in the evening this would be a great way for your light to for your face to have a lot of light to it and kind of give a beautiful glow. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. And right now I'm going to put up a video right here, one of my older videos that you can click on and go over and see a few more tips and tricks that I might have that you might not have seen that video before. And I hope that you're all happy, healthy. Please come back around very soon in my next video and we will have all kinds of fun again. Love you so much, friends. Goodbye. Bye.